Welcome to GDPG, and today we are playing a game called Until You Wake Up. It's a game made by Anthony DeZorzi. Anthony DeZorzi. Anthony DeZorzi. Sorry if we uh, butchered your name a bit here. So this is just going to be a single episode playthrough. Um, depending on how long this game is, we may not play through the whole thing. But uh, we found it on GameJolt, thought it looked interesting, so... Yeah, so I'm going to wake up. Yeah, so uh, let's wake up. Here we go. Yeah, let's, let's wake up. Oh. Ooh, that eye makes me... Oh. Oh, my. He's got white eyes. It's a very, like, classic cartoon nose, too. Yeah, right? Cool. So, uh, I think you're just going to use Wazda to move around, yeah? Or maybe the arrow keys? No? Maybe... Oh no, this is why tutorials are a nice thing. Here, let's pause real quick. Okay, so we're back. Uh, it, I guess it's a mouse game, which we did not expect. Um, but apparently you just click on the rooms or the things you want to interact with. Which is actually kind of cool, all things considered. is just not intuitive so until weird. you figure it out. Um, so, tutorial, a little lacking. Um, definitely one of those cases where some kind of like visual indication at least would have been nice yes. it probably would have helped had they changed the graphical component of the cursor yeah absolutely so i'm just trying to figure out this puzzle can you go back out through the door oh, okay so it seems like we're going through a series of puzzles and we're trying to what are we trying to wake up i you have think? no idea maybe Oh. Okay. So we don't normally play Game Maker games on the show, and this, I believe, is made with Game Maker, but it already seems like it kind of stands out from the crowd of yeah, normal cool. Game Maker games. Yeah, hit that bottom button. Oh, I thought you had it. I thought I had it, too. I don't know how to make these guys open, though. Unless... The mouse die? Do we have to pause again? Alright, okay, we're gonna pause. Do you think we've been to, like, I Maybe don't know. try only the diagonals? Just those three? Or these as well? Mm-hmm. And then the top middle one. Boom! What? What? Oh. oh God! Are we continuing? Yeah. All right, so we figured that out. Yeah, these are all very interesting puzzles. It's like a minimalist puzzle game with kind of like an exploration element to it. And was it? I, I couldn't quite tell. But when you leave a room and then go back in the same door, is it like a different room? Does it change every time you? you yeah, move? I'm not sure about. Okay, well, there's some kind of random generation going on. I, I think we're playing this blind, by the way. So, uh, oh, there's some red on that toilet. I don't know if I would trust that. I don't know what. Okay, so maybe this might be one of those ones where. You need to color in all Somehow the blocks. Somehow get all of them colored in. Whoa. This game is crazy. It's super weird. So then, what what determines if a panel can be turned on or off? Is it if... No, it's not that. So, okay, what what do you think that this game is, is trying to do with its puzzles? Do you think it's trying to be, like, surreal? I have no <laughs> idea. I think so. But do you think it's successful in that? I'm just a little confused. To be honest, I feel like somehow we have to get all of these lit up. Hmm. 
that's kind of what I think too. But then I wonder what the buttons are for, you know? Okay, so. And there's no clues in the environment from what I can tell regarding like what you need to do. Oh. See, these rooms are interesting because they all like are normal things with a little spat of blood. What happens yeah. if you click the blood? Does anything happen? Okay. I like the... Oh, wait, is that a doorway down, though? What's what's that on the very bottom? Is that just like a brick wall? Yeah, I don't know if it's a wall. Weird. Some weird shit, man. I do really like the monochromatic yeah, color no, palette, though. Yeah, that's really cool. So what do you think that this game needs? Do you think it needs a little bit more exploration or explanation, or do you think that that would only hurt it? I'm not sure yet. Okay, that's yeah, that's like, fair. This is a very like, oh, a very early like look at this game. Okay, so here we go. So it looks like there's a puzzle here that is going on. See, this one seems a little bit more intuitive. This makes me think of classic Zelda, like, dungeon there puzzles. There should be something over here. E no, go back. No, no. Go left, go up. Or maybe down is what you wanted, actually. See, if you look below that switch, there's a little gap. No, no, no. See that yeah, gap? That's, 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 that's where the light's going to come through. So you need to find a way to get down there. Oh, unless... Hmm. Oh, there's some kind of visuals Head, going on yeah, here. Yeah, so maybe it's like this. I think you want to do the upper left, the lower left, um, upper right, lower right, um, lower middle, and then upper middle. How did you know that? It's the number of blocks in each of those tiles. Oh, so you have to start with the yeah, so they, they're they using a lot of abstract shapes to make it seem like it's not, like, about counting each of them. So it's about going from smallest to biggest? No, it's about biggest. the number... See each of those little colored tiles in them? So that yeah, has one. one. Then the other one has two. Two, so that's the second one. Price, right? Yeah, and then it goes three, four, five, six. Boys, three, oh, three. Ah, I see three. Yeah. Four. So it's cleverly hidden because they're using different sized shapes. If they were all uniform, then it would be very oh. clear. Ooh, that is a full sink of blood. Oh. Interesting. What happens if you just do red? So it looks like you can only do two switches at once. I don't see anything in the environment that's telling us what kind of color we oh, want, yeah, though. Yeah. It's green... Oh, is it going through the cycle? So yellow, green, green red, red, green? Orange, no. So the yellow... Yeah, I, I can write it down. So yellow... So I hit it, it goes yellow, green, red, like an orange, blue, pink, nothing. Okay, so yellow. So yellow. Then do green. green so do add blue. Blue. Then do red. Which is just there. And then, then do, do orange. orange. Yellow. And, and then do blue. Blue, yeah. And then red, red, because it's purple. Ah, yep. There you go. You got this. That one was actually pretty cool. I like that puzzle. Yeah. Let's see. This one. Oh. 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 Hmm. 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 
Mm. Yeah, what are we trying to figure out with this one? I don't know, but this leads to that door clearly. So maybe we do this one. That one. That one. That one. No. Hmm. I think there's all the ones that connected to the lines. Oh, that would be interesting. It's not that. Nah, that one's almost too obvious. It's gonna be like there, 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 there. Oh, okay. That's actually Just making all a little simpler than I thought it would be. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, he told you which way to go. So go up. Up, yeah. And then and left. left. Up. Up. Right. Down. Hey. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Up, down, so up, down, down, up. So, so up, up, down, down. Down, down. Up. Yeah. That's interesting, because it's effectively what the last puzzle was, but it was actually easier. Oh. Uh oh, oh. Uh, what? Mm, oh oh Whoa. oh no Did we just die? Did I lose? Tuesday, February twenty first, seventh thirty at thirteen thirty five PM What? This game is crazy. So maybe we beat the first level, but we didn't do all the puzzles. No, we didn't. Can you can you click out of here? Like, is there anything else you can do? That's why I died. Weird. Whoop. That's pretty wild. Well, I guess we can end our playthrough here of this. Um, definitely one of our stranger playthroughs that we've done on the show yet. That's super weird. <laughs> You're a little far from the mic, by the way. That is super, super strange. Uh, yeah, this one was a little hard to talk about game design. I mean, what did you think about the puzzles in general? So, some of the puzzles I felt like were super difficult. They were they were very counterintuitive. Yeah, and some of them were super simple. Now, I feel like that was the trick, though. I feel like because we right. went down the easy puzzle paths, oh. we di Oh, no. There's a little bit more. No, we're not done yet. Okay, hold on. Well, I mean, but, but here's the thing. I feel like maybe by going down the easy path... I don't like this music. Oh god, this is creepy. Oh, maybe it's like what's like during the daytime, because this looks like the same room. Remember. Oh god. 20. It was 2030. So, so, you have to write it. 20, it was 2030 at 1335. Oh, no. 2030. 1335. 1330. Do I have to like mark that? Oh no. Or oh, just remember the 20, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I'll underline that. I'll underline the 20. But yeah, I, I agree. The uh, the puzzles were very counterintuitive, but like... then then the, there were the some that were like super obvious. So yeah. I, I agree. I think that was actually a good use of like... N n sort of tricking the player, almost. Right? Like, yeah, absolutely. It's it's so obvious sometimes. And since it, that it, it becomes like improbable that you'll choose that route... Um, but at the same time, it constantly switches it up on the player so that they're never really sure, is this one of those obvious puzzles or is this one of those ones that are not obvious? Yeah, not obvious. Um, so that's kind of cool. I, I actually really like that. Um, I do think that there needs to be a little bit more instruction in, in some regards. Like, the controls, obviously, we kind of struggled with. But once we figured yeah, it out, we figured it was okay. it out, it was, it was pretty simple. Um, I think, like... Well... I think a lot of those puzzles probably shouldn't be explained too much. I think really right. the, the, the main risk is what they need. They definitely, we haven't really seen any, but there could be puzzles that um, just do not make sense. And it, it, it feels like solving them is an arbitrary decision Can of I like random chance. These? Yeah, you did. I think it restarted you. So maybe it does encourage multiple plays. Yeah, I think I think it does. I'm not sure what what the end result the is going to be. Find out what was it? It was. 
But yeah, so that's that's my my thinking at least as far as the puzzle design goes. So that's that's interesting. Yeah, it's real. Okay. Did you think you were stuck again? I'm still trying to figure out this puzzle. Yeah, like, the part that I don't understand is why some of them don't disappear. Unless it's... Here, let me see. Well, I'm thinking that there's something about, like, removing... Ah, uh, What okay. did you do? So, we had to find the ones that weren't getting removed, and then place the buttons and over them, the and then remove all them. the rest of them. What was I them? thinking? Oh. oh, that's so dumb. Here, I got this. I got this. Hook me back up. Uh, why was I thinking it was filling up the whole squares? It's because most of the time when we see, like, platforming challenges like that, like in Mario, right? Like, yeah, right. it's always what it seems to be. So, so. this is kind of similar. I think we want to try to remove all of the ones that can be removed. And either something will happen or something will be revealed to us. Oh, it's an arrow. Okay, so go down. So go down. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, oh, sweet mother of God. Okay. Maybe draw an arrow? Ooh, yeah. Uh, where should it stop? Like there, right? Yeah, those... No, no, go, go two more down. Then, and then two more. Oh, we have to do the whole thing. That's and right. then... Those? Yeah. That one. And then up and left. Up and left? No, no, up. Oh, up and left are there. There you go. And now choose... Hit that other one. Yeah, this one here, right? Yeah. And there. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And then to the left. And then that other one. Uh... I guess not. Hmm. Okay, so what if it's maybe... Oh no, so okay. Maybe we're close. I think we didn't finish the arrow yeah. all the way. Yeah, maybe the arrow goes... a little bit more. So... Try... Okay, so no. Yeah, let me see. I think I, I know. I, I, I think I think this needs to be a little bit. No, not that. Hmm. I mean, what else could it be? Okay, it won't be one of the ones pointing down as well, maybe? You mean this? Yeah. I guess it was a fair as, like, maybe hit the buttons, like, yeah, else. Yeah, I guess this is the easy way to kind of... Oh. Oh, I wonder... Uh -huh. If you're supposed to make the same shape. But opposite. Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's clever. These, these puzzles actually are really clever because it's it's like oh. they tell us everything we need to know and then they flip it on its head. Oh, it's another one. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's so, f like, frightening without even, like, doing much other than showing us a visual, like, a comic frame. So, 2031. 2031. We'll see what the next number is. We'll see what the number is. Yeah. Okay. So, 2031. April 30th, 1047. 04. 30. And then 1047 p.m. Just write down the 1047 p.m. 1047 p.m. I wish there was some kind of clickable here, though, so you can, like... Yeah, you have to click the red above him to go back. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was pretty counterintuitive. Oh, camera just died. Hold on one sec. All right, we're back. Dude, the music 
is jarring. It really is. It's you were you were you were saying as as we were. Oh, number thirty-four. Oh, okay. okay. So tw- so it's so far we have twenty thirty-four. So twenty. 34, right? Let's just write it in order that we're getting in. Okay, ready? Yes. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, you were saying as we were fixing the camera um, that you were like, you're legitimately freaked out. This is weird. It just makes me feel uncomfortable because like nightmares. Mm -hmm. Um, Which way should I go? I don't have gotten that way man. Yeah, do it. All right. This is clearly like a horror version of your house. Like, oh. oh, aren't you new? Oh, oh, uh-huh. oh, look at that. So you just gotta follow. No, no, no. You gotta follow the path, you man. Gotta follow the path. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So this way. Yeah. And then we go that way, and we go down. I was kind of do that on accident too. I feel like that's kind of how the puzzles go, right? You do it on accident, and then you realize, you're like, oh, that that's open? how it works. Now go up. There you go. Uh, now that's open. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well done. This is a judge. What story are they telling us? Is it like him facing his sins? Maybe. Whoa. Oh, God. So twenty third. So this is now another. Year, so a couple more years go by. So also write down the. So this just is write down everything. Twenty thirty three. 09 24. 09 24. 9 26 a.m. 9 26 a.m. All right, ready. All right. We get do it. So messed up, man. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not ready for this. Oh okay, six. Oh six. We're close, man. I think we just beat this. Yeah. We might as well at this point. There's just something about this game that's just like, oh. <laughs> it's re- it's the, once you kind of like get what it's going for, when you figure it out, it like it really draws you in. I want to know what the importance of this is. Or whether it's to show you, you know, this is supposed to be like your house. I mean, they show you those other rooms, right? Like this. Though usually they have blood. So I wonder if the blood is implied to be at the bottom. Maybe he, like, fell down. Uh. Oh, no. Uh, oh, you clicked out of it. You, you. Oh, God. Just click it at the bottom. There you go. Well, you died. There's, there is death. There is legit death. This is a, a little unexpected, though, because that's one of the few times that we've actually seen that. Weird. So let's go back in that for a second. So I don't think there's anything to do. Just. No, no, you can't do anything. Huh. I thought I said there's a way to fuck out of it. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like there's any real penalty of death other than, like, losing progress, I guess. Yeah. Very interesting. I don't know why that room's there. I don't know the significance of that room. Probably to freak you out more than anything. Yeah, I'm and guessing to so. Sort of, especially because it's so close to the starting point. True. And I think most players probably naturally start by going up, right? Um, now, I don't know if we should redo these puzzles since we've already... Yeah, I, I would avoid that for now. Try clicking in the center there. Okay, nothing. Yeah, nothing, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Well, there's this puzzle. Oh, that's true. We need to find a way to go... Oh. oh that's new. Um, but as I was saying, I think that the... Uh, oh. That starting area, I think most players naturally go up, right? Oh, God. Yep. <sighs> Oh my. Oh, it's a map. map. But yeah, I think that that saw room, the whole point of it was to, was that the player would hit it early on. And uh, 
it would kind of freak them out and make them afraid to make choices yeah. as they play. Try clicking all the way up, straight up, in the center. In the in the, in the top wall, I mean. See yeah. that little blank spot? The, the blank spot, okay. I thought that may, it might I reveal a door. this room is either. It might just be to show you the map. I feel like the map would be pretty useful if we actually noted it. And we saw those graves. Those didn't seem to do anything in particular. Try going back up to that elevator. I want to oh, see yeah. what happens if we go in there. Jeez. Or we could go right first. Can you just go across? No, no you can't. Oh. This is end game. Yeah, it probably. Is. Do 20, 30, 4, or whatever we have. What number is it? 20, 34, 06. I wonder if there's a connection. 20, 34. Not that I see yet. Yeah, I don't we'll see come back yet. to this, though. That's important for later. I have a feeling. I just assume. It seems very end game. Or Turn at least to, hell, to the next. Maybe? Yeah, maybe, or to escape hell. What's in here? Oh, we already did all this, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, go back to that map room. I don't want to go in there anymore. I can't go again. Look at that map. So where are we? Are we We're there? Here. Huh. Yeah, that's... I don't really know what to make of it exactly. Yeah, me neither. I mean, that one white door is kind of at the very top. Oh, this? Yeah, like that That I'm curious about, but... Yeah, me too. Unless that's like the door that's outside. It could be. So, okay, let's figure out this little puzzle here, though. Uh, not this one. This not puzzle. I think there's one more down. So this puzzle. Yeah, so go left, and then go down, and then go right. That's new. Oh, interesting. So we need a light to go... Up that way. Okay, so go left. Oh, I'm sorry. So we need... Yeah, that's what we need. And then we'll shoot that upwards. Absolutely. And then go right. And now we'll shoot that leftwards. And shoot that up. And now you need to go down. Shoot I, that, I yeah, shoot that left first. so that we can trigger this. And then go up. Change that. Yeah, now puzzle. go down. This puzzle's not so bad anymore. Yeah. Laser puzzles, I feel like, are always super confusing until you oh. figure it out and you're like, oh, that was actually super obvious. Boom. There you go. Oh, uh -oh. this is going to be our last number. That was very Christ-like, too. I had, like, the... Ooh. Or that's a... Himself. Oh, shit, that's us. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps, man. I'm not sure what's going on. It's so dark. So this is 2034, 05-08. 2034, 05, 05, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, 08, yeah, each well, we time it before. Oh, really? I thought it opened a different before. door. Eighteen. Eighteen. So that should be all the numbers. Yep, that's all the numbers. So, so let's go end. to that elevator. Oof. Yeah, I know. Twenty, thirty-four, oh six. Yeah, there was never an oh six anywhere. Not that I. Yeah, wrote I mean, down. it may just be numbers. Okay, so it's up. Yeah, it was up, up, up. This way. Nope. nope. I think it was up again. Yeah. Up again. Up. Up again. Up. Up again. Up. Oh, it's just up all the way. Yep. All right, let's do this. So, 20. Oh, wait, hold on. 34. Oh, yeah, right. oh, 06. 18. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, you're going down. So that's something to do with, like, your wife and kids. Killing yourself. Killing them, maybe? Oh. I don't know, but the answers are through that door. Probably. Hopefully. What? Okay, so write that down. So... Oh, so 2034 2034 06 06 18 18 that's 10. the uh the number we just entered uh, that's the date of our actual death. death oh 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 so who is that guy I think that's you who's this or maybe that's you. Maybe that's your kid. Oh. This is a different, uh... It's been color. Oh, yeah. Color oh, you're in a hospital. hospital. What? what? Okay. You're in prison. Oh. Cell A. Oh, damn. You can go down. Oh, you, you can leave. You did your time. So you killed your... It, your wife? It's either your family or someone no, else's No, your family. wife stayed up with somebody else. You killed oh. them. You killed them both. You killed everyone. And I guess your kid? I don't know. Because there were three dead too. people. Oh no. And you kill one with the knife, you went to jail. <laughs> yeah, let's look at those other rooms. Oh, hold on. I gotta fix the camera again. Alright, let's keep checking in rooms. Yep. <sighs> Come on, make sure I don't miss anything. Oh yeah, we gotta see. So everything is exactly how it should be. Totally blood free and uh, happy. What happens when we sleep? Thank you for playing the game! Created and developed by Anthony De Zorzi. Why is he so happy though? Cause he finally has gotten through his nightmares. He went to jail because, so he, he caught his wife cheating on him. Yep. Killed her, killed the husband, maybe killed maybe his Maybe killed kid? the kids. It, it's it really hard to tell. Like it. But then again, went, there's no room for children. Went, went to jail, was in the infirmary at the jail, or maybe the psych ward for all we know. Yeah. And he's, the game is him um, living yeah. through his nightmares in his dreams. And so the game is basically him getting through it, overcoming those nightmares. Because he's not, he's probably horrified that he did it. What if it was, like, a family member? Because it looked just like him. It could be, yeah. He could have just, like, gone gone home to find that happen. Yeah, and killed his whatever. Yeah, but either way, it, yeah, it's definitely him living through his nightmares, yeah. but, um, and it's him, like, overcoming it, right? Yeah. It's, uh, very different. I, I mean, I personally, like... Obviously, as like a hipster, right? I, I absolutely love it. No, I thought it was really cool. I think I think it says a very interesting story. And I think it does in a, a really cool way. At first, the puzzles seem challenging, and, and they seem very counterintuitive too. But yes. like once we figured it out, like it we figured a lot out easier. Yeah, like once we got what the game was trying to do, then then the game made a lot more oh, sense. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think it's that like initial barrier that that only really needs the polishing, and the rest of the game actually does a perfect job. Yeah. What I like about it, what I really liked about it, I like that one puzzle where um, we had to make the buttons into the arrow, mm -hmm. and how you could still make the arrow if you'd like, but that's wrong. Right, still right. let you do the wrong puzzle. Yeah, they they let you input the wrong response, yeah, or the wrong which is answer. Super cool. Mm -hmm. I really appreciated that. I thought that was very clever because it made you feel like you were doing something right when you weren't. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I thought I thought a lot was said in such a short game. Like yeah. We literally probably knocked out this game in like literally probably 35 minutes if you don't count us like maybe 40 minutes. Yeah, with all the like, random tech issues, this was a little yeah. silly, but um, 
Yeah, I, I think the game length was perfect too, honestly. I, yeah, no, I, it if was. it were any longer, it kind of would have drawn on in for what benefit. Yeah, and I like how at first you don't know what's going on, and then all of a sudden you can piece it all together. Mm -hmm. Like, at first you're like, oh, maybe you killed yourself, and you're going through purgatory. Mm -hmm. And they even give you the elevator, but then they show you, you your wife, and you're killing her, so maybe you, you're like, you commit, like, so then you think maybe it's a suicide kill. Mm -hmm. You know what this game kind of reminds me of is Anodine, um, oh, which, it, th that was developed by... I can't remember the guy's, the, the team's name. I remember... One of the team members is Joni Kitakia, and the other is Sean something. Either way, they, they, Anodine is a very interesting game. It's it's another, I think it's RPG Maker too, but it's another one that like deviates from whoop, from like what everyone does with RPG Maker. Yes. It's not an RPG, it's more of like a story or an exploration or yes. an adventure game. Um, and it, it was very like surreal and kind of like had puzzle stuff going yeah. on. It also had some combat stuff, but it was like it messed with your brain. Yes. In, I, in a very similar way that this did. And it was equally horrifying in different ways. Yeah. I did like, I, well, I did like, um, there's something I learned in theater. And it was like, even if you have a, something that's really depressing, you have a story that's really bad, there always needs to be a little hope at the end because you don't mm. want to have everyone just trudging through muck. Just for nothing. Just for nothing. Yeah. And so in a way, this was, in the end, he finally gets a good night of rest. And oh yeah, that is so a really in, nice. In a way, like, it shows that there is hope. There is hope. Uh, what's clever <laughs> is until you wake up, it looks like you're in the elevator going down, oh. or, or or not in the elevator going down. It looks like you know when you start off the game to leave to go into a new spot. Yeah, yeah. So it's really clever with the way they placed him. Um, or even if you're looking at it from like if the U is the negative space, it could even be him standing at the edge of a cliff. Right, exactly. There's just yeah, it's so a, many it's, ways that to is really clever. It. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I think this was a really fun game. Huh. Um, and for only about being an hour long. Yeah, it's um, awesome. And it's, it's free. It's on Game it. Jolt. So check it so out on Game Jolt. Go guys. check it out. Let us know what your experience was with this game because yeah. we had a blast with it. I hope we, we didn't like ruin it for you guys, but. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't think we really joked very much in that at all. No, well, I mean, it's a very, it's, it's way up. more serious of a tone of a game. You know, the um, one thing, though, I still don't get, I mean, I get why they had the saw, but it still seems kind of, that's the one part of the game that seemed a little unnecessary. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that part was probably unnecessary. I still think the only point of that is basically to scare the player. I, it's placed in a spot that means that the player is right. most likely to find it early on in the game. So the idea is, is that the player hits that button and is suddenly afraid to experiment with, with all the other puzzles. That's now, true. does that do anything to actually add to the experience of the game? It might not. It actually might hurt it more yeah. than anything, but it still adds to that unsettling tone. So I, I don't know. If it were up to me, I might still keep it in, but at the same time, I might I might change it. Yeah. I might keep the idea, but like execute it differently. And what I want to know is, does it matter what order you do the puzzles in, do you still get the same story pieces the same way? Uh, I think so. Just I, depending on the puzzle. I feel like that'd be a little too much work for such a short yeah, game that's also free. Yeah, that'd be crazy free. if we accidentally <laughs> did it all right. Like, yeah, like, right. Oh, no, you did it all right on accident. It's like, oh. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, great game. Um, do we have a question of the day? Question of the day. Um, hmm. I guess maybe we'll make this a bigger one, but say like, what do you think about the puzzle design? Do you mm. think that it was intuitive enough? Like, do you think that, the, or maybe not even the puzzle design, the game in general, right? Do you think that the game needed a little bit more to explain what it was to the player prior to you really starting? Because we had that we had that initial like barrier to entry, right? So, um, so what would you do? as a designer to fix that. How, how would you lower that barrier to make the player get to where they need to be faster and so it's less like cumbersome so we're not like uh, bouncing around and fumbling around trying to figure out what to do? Absolutely, I agree. Um, yeah guys, uh, yeah, please comment, talk with us, a like, share this video, uh, bring your friends around, man. We definitely want to yeah. try. This game was pretty freaking cool. Uh, yeah, if you're, so. ever, if you're ever wondering, man, GDPG, these guys are kind of sweet. It's too bad that they're such a small channel. Well, funny that you ask. The best way to help is just to share it. Yeah, please, please, just let everyone know. Um, would we do the voting for the single playthrough episode? Uh, well, not necessarily, but what the voting for the... So, we'll have two other games on here, but the voting for this game is, is if you want us to play more Game Jolt games. Yeah! Um, because we, we took this one off of Game Jolt because, uh, honestly, uh, there's a lot of really fantastic games on there. I um, mean, we don't always play them on the show because, well, they're free... And we figure most people have either already played it or 
don't really want to see a free game on on YouTube. Um, but, but there's so many cool ones out there, so any time to plug in Game Jolt is always a good time. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, guys, check out Game Jolt. Uh, vote for what you want to see next. Um, and, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Cool. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you guys.